Today we're going to be taking a look at a Fiaggi presser switch mount for their tactical flashlights. And that's coming up next here on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. Once again, I'd like to thank Fayachi for sending this out to the channel for us to do videos on. Now what this is, this is a mount to mount the presser switch. If you saw my last video, you saw how I didn't like how the strap worked on it. This solves the problem. This one will work with M-Lock or Picatinny rail. But let's stop talking about it. Let's take it over to the table, open it up, see what all it comes with. And I'll tell you some of the features about it. Let's get started. Now let's open this up and see what all comes with it. We're just going to tear the package open here. And what we got inside is a couple of pieces here. There isn't really much to this. We've got our two pieces here, the hardware, the instructions, and once again, Fiaci always has very nice user manual, and all the stuff is very legible, and the pictures are always great in it. And it looks to be that is all that's in here. So let's go ahead and go over some of the features. These are designed to work with Fiaci FL11, FL14, FL17, FL20, WL15, WL18 tactical flashlights. It will also work with a GL6 green laser and a PS16 pressure switch. This will work with a Picatinny rail or an m lock rail, giving you more options of what you want to put it on. These are made from polycarbonate thermoplastic polymer to be durable, flexible, and to withstand hard impacts. The m lock rail here is 4.9 inches long, 0.56 inches wide, and weighs in at 0.17 ounces. The Picatinny mount one here is 3.3 inches long by 1 inches wide, and it comes in at 0.32 ounces. All right, this is the one for the Picatinny rail here, and you can see this is the bottom. You can see where it would snap right into the pick rail right there. This would just go over and snap on. Now to install this, we have the actual switch here. We're just going to take it down, put it through this hole here, wiggle that down in there, pop that into the little spot right there, and then there you go. You got your momentary, and then you got your on-off right here. And this will fit nice and tight up in there once it's on the rail. Now we got the M-Block piece here. There you can see the M-Block part of it right there that'll lock it in. This is actually two pieces here, so you're going to grab one end, and we're going to pull the bottom off of this and separate them, because that's what you need to do to install this. Pull this right out of here. This piece right here is plastic or polymer. This piece is kind of rubber. So we got our switch right here, and once again, we're going to come in through this front hole here. Get that mounted up to where it needs to go. Got that sticking in. Put the cord right there in that slot the way it should be. And then we're going to pop this right back down into the base. And once we get that done, this is what it's going to look like. So now I'm going to get this mounted up to my gun. Now we got the switch mounted up here, but first I want to show clear. You can see the bolt is back. No magazine in, gun is on safe, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm a lefty, so of course I got it mounted on this side. So what we're going to do is I'm going to point it off to the side here. And here we got momentary. You can see I can just turn it on and off with my thumb. Or we got the on-off switch here. Just go on and off with it. And that is in a perfect spot right where I put my thumb and hold the gun. And I really like that about this. That is a real nice touch that they came out with this. So much better than trying to strap it or zip tie it to the rail. So I really like this pressure switch and I like it. They give you the option for Picatinny rail or the M-Lock. Of course, the M-Lock is going to be the most popular nowadays. But if you still got an old quad rail, then that other mount would work perfect for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link down below to Amazon for you guys to check this out. Right now, it is November 2022. These are on sale right now. But on 11:24 Black Friday, they're going to have 20 to 30% off. I'm going to put a picture up here of some of the pricing and some of the stuff that you could pick up from Fiaci. So if you're looking at getting something from Fiaci, Black Friday is a time to pick it up and save some money for you. Also, don't forget to check the other links out down below. I got Axial Hearing Protection down there. They're buy one, get one free right now on the earbuds or the earmuffs, either one. Also, we the People Holsters, Crossbreed Holsters. Those are the two holsters I like using. 
they got a bunch of deals going on. Just check all the links out down below. If you see something you like, click on it and save you some money. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are one nation under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.